my love. We made it. One year ago, when you asked me to be your wife, we had no idea what the season of engagement had in store for us. Between not seeing you for four weeks because of quarantine, or for changing our venue last minute, I shockingly appreciate all that happened because it gave me more insight on your character. I'm not kidding when I say you were the best man I know. It's okay. There's been much wonder if this wedding would happen today. It's been weird, it's been difficult, it's been different, and it's been uncertain. Way before March, you were waiting, and you were searching, and you were healing, and you were hurting. In the last five months, you've waited, you've searched, you've healed, and you've heard. And in all of that, there was Jesus. Some of the things I love about you is I love you so much. So many things that can fill up this book. But I love you for your relationship with God. I love you for your character and just how much it defines you inside and out. I love you for your outlook on life and the impact it has had on mine. You're good. You're good. <laughs> just breathe. I love you for your endless desire to help others. I love you for the love that you show me each and every day. And I love you because I know that no argument will ever be bigger than our love. I want you to know that I've prayed for this little girl to stand here this day. And so many others have too. And so you're the answer to prayer. And uh, don't ever forget how much you've been prayed for. <laughs> you can get it out now. I love you, Emmy. As I'm writing this, these vows, I'm overcome with tears. I truly know just how much you mean to me. You're my best friend, soulmate, lover, and I just can't wait for my life to be with you every single day. Thank you, God. When I think about growing old with you, I think about how our love and faithfulness to God and each other will sustain us. We get to be best friends, lovers, and partners until the sweet Lord calls us home. I do and will continue to thank God that you are my man for life. Thank you for choosing me to be your wife. I love you, Jackson James. XOXO, Mrs. James. Thank you so much, baby. I love you so much. Yeah. James and Holland family, uh, they want to welcome you. And I believe that families are always grateful when there are people sitting in the pews, but I have to say today, there's deep gratitude for each one of you here. In a crazy time like this, for you to be here means so much. Don't close your eyes. The story's a little fascinating. I won't tell all the details, I guess, but you kind of determined as a Edmund Santa Fe student that you had, or Memorial, I'm sorry, Memorial, um, you weren't really interested in anybody up at North Edmund. I mean, and that was a line drawn hard in the sand. And I guess through college, you kind of carried that through, and I guess college was almost over, or it was over, and you happened to run into each other, and you might as well have dinner together. And uh, you caved on your thing about North people. And look what you found out, you know. Look what happened. God had a plan. And how cool is it that you are marrying an accountant? A guy in finance is going to have a banker for a father-in-law. That's just perfect. You just can't make this stuff up, you know. That is just perfect.
You are a blessing our family have been praying for for a long time. Being a God-fearing woman and having the size of heart that you have was the answer to every prayer that I gave for Jackson. Jackson never took anything away, and I think that that's something that is such a gift. It's the only has made me any better from all the days forward. Everyone told me before I got married that marriage is hard, and that's true in the sense that you're going to go through everything life throws at you with this person. Um, but I think that the day-to-day -day is easy if you commit to loving the other person before yourself. And heck, if you can plan a wedding during COVID, you guys can do anything. It is a great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Jackson and Emily James. Woo!